guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, my name is Melinda. So in today's video, I am going to be doing a little bit of a review on the Arctic Fox hair dye in the shade Virgin Pink. As you can see, that is the color that I have in my hair right here. I did make a full video on me dyeing my hair, so if you want to watch that video, I will have it linked in the cards. But yeah, it's been about a month since I dyed my hair and I just wanted to give a little bit of a review for you guys and tell you kind of what the fading process has been, um, how much it fades after each wash, if I've needed to touch it up and um, everything like that. Okay, so I'll just start from the application process. So this product is extremely moisturizing. I said that a bunch of times in my video. It is a very conditioning product, so it is pretty easy to spread throughout your hair, but I still would recommend going in very, very small sections, especially if you have as much hair as I do. It does spread easily, but you can still miss spots. I worked really, really hard to make sure I was really like smushing the color onto every strand, and I still miss like a few teeny spots here and there. So just make sure that you're still sectioning it and taking your time and and coating every single hair strand. So I know a lot of people's complaints with these fashion colors is that they stain everything. So I wanted to cover that in this video. Um, honestly, I did not find that it makes like a huge mess at all. Actually, I did get it all over my bathroom counter, but it wiped right up. Like it looked like it was going to stain. It probably sat on my counter for about three hours before I actually cleaned it up. And I just wiped it off with nail polish remover and, um, a like little cotton pad. Obviously, if you have any type of finish on your countertop, you probably don't want to do that because the acetone will remove that too, but it worked really well and got all the hair dye off. Um, and then when I'm washing it out, out in the shower. It doesn't stain my shower at all. It's not like splattering pink dye all over the place. So I do really like that because I have heard some people that use other fashion color brands. They hate that they have to pretty much scrub their shower down after every single shower. So with this, at least in my experience, I have not had that issue and it doesn't stain any of my stuff. So that's really awesome. After your first initial rinse out of the color, like after it sat on your hair and you're rinsing it out for the first time, I didn't really get all of the hair dye out of my hair because I'm pretty sure on the bottle, it tells you to rinse until the water runs mostly clear. So you don't want to rinse like absolutely all of it out of your hair. You obviously want it to be as pigmented as possible. So that being said though, I did notice I like blow dried and curled my hair as soon as I rinsed the color out. And I did notice that the next day my neck was kind of starting to turn pink and then like all around my hairline was a little bit pink. So I do think that the hair dye is like rubbing off even when your hair's not wet, like your hair, my hair was fully dry and it was still kind of rubbing a little bit of a pink cast onto whatever it was touching. Now I do have black pillowcases and other than today, I do typically wear dark colors. So I didn't notice it getting onto anything like that, but it probably would after your first initial rinse because you're not really getting all of the hair dye out that very first time, if that makes sense. I wouldn't wear light clothes the day after you have dyed your hair. So now I want to talk a little bit about how I maintain the color and the fading process. When I get in the shower, I do not touch my hair with hot water whatsoever. So if you blast your hair with steaming hot water as soon as you get in the shower, it's just gonna open up your hair cuticle and more of that color is gonna be able to leave. And then I also feel like it allows your shampoo to kind of penetrate the hair shaft more deeply than it could have if you just started your shower off with cool water, if that makes sense. I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's what I'm doing. So when I get in the shower, I rinse my hair with cool water water, not freezing cold because that's miserable. No one wants to take a cold shower, but I do not put like hot water on my hair whatsoever. It's definitely like room temperature. And then I will put my shampoo on. I will wash my hair like as fast as possible because I don't want to let that shampoo sit on my hair for any longer than it needs to. I don't know if it would actually strip the color the longer it sits on my hair, but just to be safe, I will rinse that out like ASAP. And I don't really take the shampoo down to my ends. I will just like cleanse my skin scalp and then I will rinse the shampoo out and let the shampoo kind of like just rinse over my ends, but I'm not actually scrubbing my ends. And when I'm rinsing the shampoo out, I obviously use the cool water again. I use cool water before my shampoo to rinse the shampoo out and then to rinse my conditioner out too. Again, no hot water it touches my hair. I want to prolong this color as long as I can. That being said though, it's lasting extremely well. I'll get into that in a second, but I'm like really, really impressed 
with how well it's lasting on my hair. I waited a full week before I washed my hair for the first time because I was really scared that the first time I washed it, all the color was gonna leave my hair and that didn't happen at all. I noticed the most color is leaving my hair when I'm rinsing out my shampoo because obviously the shampoo has sulfates in it so it is removing a little bit of that color. And so at first I was also kind of scared to use conditioners because in my head I thought if I'm putting another product on my hair, now I have to rinse out the conditioner too and I didn't wanna be rinsing out all of my color multiple times in one shower. But I actually realized that the hair color only runs out in the water when I'm rinsing out my shampoo. So I can put in a conditioner and then rinse a conditioner out of my hair and no more of that color is leaving my hair. The water runs completely clear, which is really cool. So I feel like the only time that more of the color is really leaving my hair is during the shampoo, which again, I like because since my hair is bleached under this pink, it is nice that I know that I can use conditioner because I really need to be doing like deep conditioning masks. So kind of along the same lines as that, since the water is running clear, when I get out of the shower and my hair is like dripping onto my clothes, that is pretty much clear also, which again, I wouldn't like put on a white shirt and let your hair drip onto that. You'd probably notice like pale pink stains, but if you're wearing darker colors, you're not really gonna notice it. And that's really good for me because one of my biggest hesitations with dyeing my hair at these like fashion colors was that I obviously do have like a natural curl to my hair. So I let my hair air dry and I let it like fully drip dry. So my hair is like dripping onto my shirt for like two hours and then it stops dripping and then it air dries for like four more hours. But in those first two hours, I didn't want to be staining everything I touched, like my couch and my clothes and my bed. I didn't want to be staining everything hot pink. So that's really cool that the hair dye is not like constantly dripping out of my hair. I really, really love that. That's a huge deal for me. So yeah, that's like a big bonus that the hair dye is like staying in my hair and less serious shampoo, like physically removing the color. So when you have like naturally curly or wavy hair, people say to stay away from silicones, but with this fake hair dye in my hair, I kind of feel like silicones help to just put a barrier over my hair strands and kind of keep that color in and seal it in. So I will use a little bit of a conditioner that has silicones in it just to kind of smooth over my ends. And I feel like that does two things. One, it kind of smooths out like the frizziness from where I bleached it because my ends are a little bit fried and dried and frizzy. But I also have this theory that it keeps the hair dyeing better too. I'm not sure, I have nothing to back that up, but that's just what I feel like works. So um, I have been using conditioner with a little bit of silicones in it. So I am going to put up a picture on the screen of the shampoo that I've been using. I don't use any special like color protecting shampoo. I mean, this one does say that it's color protecting. I didn't buy it because of that though. I bought it just because it smells good to be really honest. And I really like it and it is drugstore. So I can't imagine it would be like that high tech at protecting color, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is like really helping the longevity of my color, which would be great, but I don't know. It is only $6, which is pretty cool. So if it really is helping protect the color, then and that's really awesome. So nothing special for my shampoo or my conditioner. If you wanna see all of the products that I used in my hair from washing, conditioning, and all my styling products, I will link that video in the cards for you guys if you want to check that out too. Okay, so the last thing is how much is it fading after every wash? You guys, I have been blown away by how well it's staying in my hair. I have not touched up the color at all. And this is after five washes. So in my hair dyeing video, I had mentioned that I didn't really know what to expect as far as how long the color would last because I literally heard people saying two completely opposite things. I heard one person say that they love Arctic Fox because it fades out really quickly and you can change your color more often. But then I heard other people say that they love Arctic Fox because it lasts so long in their hair and they don't have to touch it up and spend as much money. And the girl at Sally's actually recommended Arctic Fox to me because she said that it would fade out of my hair really quickly. So like I said, I just didn't really know what to expect. And I guess I have the hair type where it lasted my hair extremely well. So I was trying to put off my first wash for as long as I possibly could because I was scared that literally all the color was just gonna leave my hair after that one wash. And it didn't at all. It literally did not fade even a pinch after my first wash. My second wash, 
brush, it didn't fade at all, except I think I had a few strands here and there that like turned a little bit orangey, but you couldn't even notice it. My third wash, same thing, just a few more like orangey strands. Then after my fourth wash, that's when I noticed the most fading, but still, I mean, you can see my hair is still, like the color barely looks like it's gone anywhere. But after my fourth wash, I started noticing the top layer was turning a little bit more of like a bubblegum pink as opposed to the like bright purpley pink that it was when I initially dyed it. So it was just starting to lighten up in a lot of areas and then on my fifth wash which is where I'm at right now I've only washed my hair five times since I dyed it um, I'm just noticing a lot more of those lighter streaks throughout which honestly I kind of like because it's kind of it kind of looks like highlights and it's giving my hair a little bit more dimension I'm actually enjoying the fading process a lot I do feel like I'm gonna get to a point where it's gonna look pretty splotchy though so but I definitely intend to play around with more Arctic Fox colors I'm really really excited with how it's holding up in my hair, how it looks. Um, I do kind of wish that I tried more of a pastel pink to begin with, but like I said in my hair dyeing video, I just had a lot of uneven shades in my hair and I was nervous that a pastel color wouldn't cover all of that. So I am really happy with how well this covered everything and just evened out my hair color. And I love how even and I just love how even it looks. So, and I think that the darker the color, the longer it will last. So if you do more of a pastel shade, I think it would rinse out a little bit quicker, but um, I wanna try a pastel pink after this and I really wanna try an orange. And then as my roots start growing out, I'm definitely going to try and order their bleach and I will continue to make these hair dyeing videos if you guys are still interested and I'll show you every single color that I try out, but I'm really excited. I'm very happy with Arctic Fox. This is my first time ever trying it and I'm really, really excited with the results. And yeah, I really just highly recommend it, honestly. And I'm pretty sure that they're vegan and cruelty free also, which is really cool. So that completes this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it or it was helpful, then give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to, and leave any comments or questions down below and I will respond to all my comments. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.